Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Medio. This video is another example of route summarization or route aggregation. Let's say if we have multiple subnets and we want to combine these multiple subnets into one big network. And as we earlier we talked about, known as route aggregation or supernetting. Let's say they gave us these four subnets and they said we want to do the route summarization on these four subnets. So there are some rules that applies. First, we want to make sure are they in the number of twos. So here, as you can see, one, two, three, four. As we can see, it's number of twos. This is one set and this two is another set. Another rule that it has to be in the continuous format subnets. Like when we talk about the last bit turned on, that's the network increment. In this case, the side notation of 29 means 29 bits turned on. As we can see here, all the 29 bits turned on. So this is first octet, 8 bits. Second octet, 8 bits. That's total of 16. The third octet, 8 bits. That's a total of 24 bits. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And the last bit that is turned on the decimal value, 8. That's our network increment on the last octet, starting with the zero network, 8, 16, 24. So we know these are in the continuous format. Therefore, we should be able to do the route summarization. The quick answer is basically we have to see which block that can cover all these addresses. And to get more detail, what we need to do, all these numbers that are different, we just need to convert it to the binary and see how many number of bits are exactly the same. So for example, in the first one, if I rewrite 192.168.1. In instead of 0, we have to put 8 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And as you guys remember, these binary numbers, these are the placeholders, the decimal values for each binary. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Because this decimal value is zero, so the binary it's all zeros. For the next subnet, 192.168.1.8. So which one gives us eight? This one it's only turned on, right? So zero 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 one zero 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 because this one is the eight. And for sixteen, we have one nine two. And for the next subnet, 192.168.1.24, if we convert 24 to the binary, 192.168.1.24 in binary is 00016 plus 8. So 16 plus 8, that's 24. And then 000. Now we have to see how many of these bits are exactly identical. So zero 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 that's all matched, turned on. Zero 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 all the same, it's on. Zero 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 all the same, it's on. This one is zero, this one is zero, this one is one, this one is one, it's not the same, it's off. Pretty much the rest of them, it's it should be off. So the moment that we get to the ones that it's not the same after that, it's all off. And here these are all exactly matched, so it's 8 bits are exactly the same. So here we, it's 8 bits, here is all 8 bits the same, and here all the same because if we convert these binaries to decimal, 8 bits all exactly the same. So I just put x dot x dot x dot this binary number, which in other words, our subnet mask is 255.255.255.255. .255 .255 .255 this one is, if we count, 128 turned on, 64 turned on, and 32. This one, this one, this one. So 128 plus 64, that's 192, plus 32, 224. So this is our subnet mask. And now the last bit that is turned on is 32, which is our increment. So increment of block of 32, it covers all these addresses. If I show you, if I write down the zero network, 192.168.1.0, incrementing by 32 
on the last octet 192, 1.32. .1 That's the next subnet, right? And keep incrementing by 32. So on the first subnet, the broadcast, 192, 1.68, 1 1.31. And the range, 192, 1.68, 1 1.1, and it goes to 192, 1.30. Which as we can see, it covers 1.0, 1.8, 1.16, and 1.24 in this range. In other words, in a routing table, if we add 192, 1.68, 1.0 with the subnet mask of 255, 255, 255, 224, or the side of notation of how many bits turned on now, here we can see 8 plus 8. 16 plus 8, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27, which again, the side of notation of 27 gives us the subnet mask of 255, 255, 255, 224. So this network address and this subnet mask, it covers all these subnets. And this is an example of route aggregation or route summarization. What we did first, the octets that are not the same, we converted into the binary. And then we counted number of bits going from left to right, the ones that are exact identical. And we turned on that bit position. All the same, turned on. All the same, is turned on. All the same, turned on. The moment that we get to the bit position that all of them, it's not the same, we put zero and after that it's all zero. So in this case, only the first three bits on the last octet, because all these numbers are on the last octets. Only the first three bits are exactly the same in all of them, which gives us the total number of ones, the network bits, 8 plus 8, 16 plus 8, 24, 25, 26, 27. And here we can see, and starting with the zero network, the standard notation 27 gives a subnet mask of 255, 255, 255, 224. To show you guys, let's count 27. So 8 plus 8, 16 plus 8, 24, 25, 26, 27. In other words, we moved it to the left. That's supernetting, right? So all these bits all zero. 24, 25, 26, 27. And the last we turned on increment 32 on the last octet. So we are incrementing by 32 on the last octet. And here we can see the broadcast address, the network address, all the available IP addresses that we can see it covers all these subnet addresses. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel and you want to see more tech videos like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. So thanks again and have a good day.